I was given very strict rules to not leave the house because the keys are coming today. Good morning you guys it is very early in the a.m. it is do you want to tell them what time it is it's 7 a.m. Avery didn't go to bed till 10 last night because we had some friends over and Chris played basketball and she just didn't go to bed till 10 so you would think babies normally I guess I don't know all babies but Avery usually sleeps 12 hours so if we put her to bed at 7 she'll wake up at 7 if we put her to bed at 8 she'll wake up at 8 and last night she went to bed at 10 so you'd think that she would wake up at 10 right mm -mm. Nope, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. and she's up for the day, huh? Say good morning. <laughs> you guys, if it was up to me, I think I would just have the entire vlog be Avery. But it is up to me, so maybe I will. So welcome to today's vlog. It is going to be 12 hours of Avery. Do you like that idea? <laughs> yeah, you do, huh? Oh no, you can't have these. Avery, you can't have these. Oh, what are these, you ask? Last night we had some friends over. You guys might have seen them before. They are YouTubers also. Their name is Haha ha Drew, and I'll link them down below. But we hung out with them, we met them at CVX Live, and they came over, and we did the Bean Boozled Challenge. So, that was tons of fun. Um, it was me and Chris versus them. And you guys will have to watch it to find out who wins. Oh, uh, 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 uh. But yeah, we had tons of fun. We went to dinner, we came and made that video, and then we went and watched Chris play basketball. So that was really fun. Um, yeah, and the challenge was a little less fun, but we did it, so. <laughs> love you, I love you, I love you. Can we just cuddle all morning, please, 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 please? So yesterday, she literally probably took a nap and napped like an hour the entire day. The entire day, which is so crazy, like, I don't know, that's like nothing, and I can't believe that she's like functioning still. Um, but let's make a guess on what time she'll go down for her nap today. Usually she goes down after she's been awake for like two hours, so I'm gonna guess like nine, which would be a really good thing. And some days, like yesterday, she won't nap until three o'clock and then will only nap for like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna guess nine o'clock with my fingers crossed. Are you gonna take a good nap today, huh? Mom has stuff to do. Mom's gotta get stuff done. She can't just hold you all day we have been missing chris's car keys for like three weeks now and this morning before chris left to work i was given very strict rules to not leave the house because the keys are coming today so i am quarantined you guys i'm quarantined i can't leave this house and i hate days when i can't leave the house because i usually like to like go on walks go grocery shopping go to the library like Go visit my mom just kind of get out of the house and today i can't do that so she's going to watch daniel the tiger and i am going to make me some breakfast She's ready for a nap now. 7.52, so she made it almost an hour, huh? That's not bad. Almost an hour. Nap time. I feel really bad. I was trying to get Avery to eat this carrots and broccoli baby food, and it smells so awful that I'm deciding to just throw it away because she doesn't really like it and won't really eat it. And it smells so bad that I kind of feel bad feeding it to her. So this is going in the garbage. Since Avery and I are still on lockdown, we're on strict orders not to leave the house till the keys get here. And it's two o'clock, so I've just like been sitting here all day. So now I'm going to try and drink this whole jug of water. And I don't drink water a ton, you guys. If you know me, I drink milk all the time. Whenever I'm thirsty, it's milk. I probably drink water like a few times a week, but not very much at all. So I am going to drink this. I can't do it. Tap out, tap out. That was pretty good.
good though. Look at that. Probably like more than three fourths, I'd say. So not bad. Do you guys want to hear the cutest thing ever that happened? Me and Avery were sitting in here cleaning up the living room a little bit and our little next door neighbor kids knocked on the door and they asked if Coda could come play. So I let him outside and looked out the window and I just saw them like, there was like three kids around him just petting him and playing with him, like talking to him. And you probably loved it, all that attention, but it's so cute. They do that sometimes. And they also sent us a spare key, which is nice. I don't know if they were supposed to or not, but they did. Now we have a spare key so that that won't happen again. I'm going to hurry and go out to our car and run it really quick because that seems like something I should do, like that a good responsible car owner would do. Um, it hasn't run for like three weeks, so I'm going to just make sure the key fits and that it will run still. I was totally like mainly just checking to make sure the car would run still but the key totally does not fit like it will go in but it won't turn So Avery and I just got back from Target. I ended up getting her this cute little summer floppy hat. Um, we also got Chris something for Father's Day and I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is, you'll have to wait. But Chris just got back from work and good news you guys, the key works, you just have to like program it to work. I was so scared, I thought that it just didn't fit. Is it working? Yeah. Really? Huh? What'd you do? I programmed it. Yeah. yeah, you're a genius! So all day I've been trying to get Avery to nap and like the past few days I've had like a super tough time. She just will not nap. Literally she'll nap 20 minutes to an hour like the entire day. And Chris gets home from work and gets her to sleep in 10 minutes. And here is his exclamation. Okay guys, here's the key if you have a baby that's cranky. The baby's tired and wants to sleep. So you take him. Oh, I use this book as an example. <laughs> You take them and you put them in the crib and you walk away, do your thing. After 10 to 15 minutes, if they're still cranky and not asleep, you go back in there, you pick them up and you, you know, whatever way is comfortable, like Avery likes to face outwards, so you can walk around like this if you need to, or if you want to hold them in like this, whatever, you calm them down. You get them to where they're calm, they're happy, they're smiling, they're like, this is the best thing ever, because they're not going to sleep because they're hysterical. So you get them back happy, and then they're still sleepy, but now they're happy. And you put them back in the crib, and they'll be asleep in 10 minutes, guaranteed. You guys might think, like, there's no, there's no way, it'll never work. That's what I thought, but it worked. Yep. We came in from getting the car program, and she was quiet, she's like, no, she's still awake. And we went up there, out cold. I should almost just use this key everywhere, because then if I ever lost this key, I'd have the master key. Yeah. But I'm not. Well, you should, though. Because then I can unlock the key when I'm walking, car when I'm walking up to it. Really? Yeah. Use really. this one. Yeah, and then you gotta put it in, and you, sometimes you twist it one way and it locks it, and you're like, gosh, oh, gotta twist it that way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna hide the master key. You guys, I'm about to tackle one of the messiest places in our house. We had some friends over yesterday and our house is clean except for this spot. So we were like, just don't look over here. So I'm about to clean. I don't know why, like we, whenever we clean up, we kind of just like put our stuff at the bottom of the stairs so we know to take it upstairs, but then we never do. So I'm gonna show you guys and don't think bad of us, but I'm cleaning it up right now. You start with the grumpy pants, huh? Now you're a gap, yo. 
<laughs> She's like, oh, I didn't know you were gonna put me in a bed. <laughs> so guys, Alyssa cleaned downstairs on the stairs, and now she just moved it all to the very top of the stairs. You guys, you're not supposed to see this. You Hash would never have known. Hashtag behind the scenes. <sighs> now I feel bad. Hashtag still not clean. Hashtag mess moved upstairs. Hashtag, but now friends can't see it. We are going to go on a walk because Miss Avery Pie acted like she was ready for bed and then we put her up in her bed and she was not. So we're gonna try and take a walk um, to get her ready. You ready for bed now, Aves? She got super ornery on our walks and in the stroller. First time it's ever happened. So we had to carry her the rest of the way home. <laughs> yeah, she's ready for bed. Yeah. Let's go to bed, huh? We are ending it. We're gonna try and get some sleep tonight. Going to bed early, 9.30. Pretty impressive wow. for this team, huh? Yeah. We'll probably fall asleep around 11, 11.30 though. Yeah, let's say I'm gonna bath, edit, it'll probably be really late, so oh, that'd be really, yeah, so. Hey, Chris. No, I got it was a serious moment. Oh. I don't know if any of you watch BF versus GF. Mm -hmm. But they just posted like one of the saddest vlogs ever about how they're taking a break from each other and they're like daily vlogging like ruined them. It just made me, you know, like even more like we just want to keep vlogging for like the love and the memories and like everything and like it doesn't matter how big we get, how small we are, just like do it for the love of vlogging because you don't want to get to where it feels like so much like a job that you aren't enjoying what you're doing anymore. So I want to thank all of you guys for like what you do to make us feel like, you know, it's not a job for us. It's something we love doing That's every day. That's true. I think we're not doing daily. We're doing almost daily. So it's like yeah. we wake up and feel like doing it, then we do it. And yeah. we wake up and like, don't like the want immense to, then pressure. We don't want to take it. Yeah, like the immense pressure of being like, oh, we got to do it today, or, you know. So, you know, we want to just thank you guys. You're so great. Like, when we don't put a vlog up, you guys are great. And then even if we miss a day or something, you guys are still right there for us. You're still awesome. So, want to thank you for that and just like all the support we get. So, I tried to like wink and I just blinked. I went, Ooh, that was a good one. You ever put that in? Oh my gosh. There it is. Be inspired. I'm going to be you, boo, no matter what. <laughs> be nation. <laughs> like stuck your shoulder on. <laughs> Subscribe. Click the button.